we're going to talk today about the vagaries of war. What happens in split seconds and what can happen when war continues on for another day, two days, three days, maybe a couple of weeks while you're waiting for an enemy to make a decision whether to give up, surrender, or to continue the war. And you really don't know what that decision can be. But in the meantime, things can happen that change the whole aspect of that war. So we'll go back to World War II. An incident. What happened to us in a few minutes while in a convoy on a beautiful, warm, sunny day in the Mediterranean. The convoy of ships, a bunch of sailors, manning those ships, Navy destroyers, a Coast Guard ship, a troop ship manned by merchant crew, everybody lolling about Alert, yes, the men on duty were always alert, but the rest of us were relaxed. On our ship, we were playing cards in the officer's mess, having fun, joking, and then came a tremendous explosion. It was so great that we were convinced immediately that our ship had been hit and that we were going to sink. So we ran for battle stations. My job was to do the first aid as well as other things aboard ship, so I had to go run and get my first aid kit. But by the time I got out on deck, the ship had steadied and was plodding along. We had not been hit. But what had happened that night? A group of torpedo planes, German torpedo planes, came in from the, over the mountains on the coast of Algiers. We were 30 miles off the coast. And as I said, it was so peaceful. And then they hit right at dusk. The first ship they hit was the SS Paul Hamilton. The Paul Hamilton had 504 Army Air Force personnel on board. It was considered a troop ship, but for some reason or other there was also munitions or gasoline, high test gas. I don't know what it was, but the torpedo penetrated the hull of that ship and blew the thing, the ship, with all its crew to smithereens. It was a sheet of flame from the ocean to the sky. Later on, when I saw the pictures of the atom bomb, that came to mind. It's a sight I never forgot. There were 580 men on that ship and everyone perished. I believe they only recovered the part of one body that fell on, another, on the deck of another ship. That's what happens in a split second. 580 lives just erased from the face of the earth. There were two other ships hit that were sunk and two more that were heavily damaged, a U.S. destroyer and a merchant ship. So in a few minutes, what a loss. If a war ends a few days earlier, it might mean saving the lives of thousands. We just don't know. Now, during World War II, I was a merchant seaman. I was one of many thousands. There were 9,400 
and 97 merchant seamen killed during the war. Most people studying history and studying the war are not familiar with that fact. There were 12,000 merchant seamen wounded. There were 2,814 merchant ships sunk. So we took the brunt of the battle wherever we went. The British, their merchant fleet, they lost 30,000 seamen during the war. Now, before the war started, American merchant ships were unarmed. So they were unprepared for Pearl Harbor. Yet, they had lost 70 men killed in action already by German submarines. Ships had been sunk, American ships, before Pearl Harbor, before we entered the war. Most people weren't familiar with that. We were often, people would say to me when they found out I was merchant seaman, how can you take that risk because you have no guns and you have no armor? It was true. In the beginning, we didn't have convoys. We sailed alone. And German subs were fast enough and good enough to catch many of the ships that were built earlier and were slower than ours. War isn't pleasant. Anyone who's been to war knows that suddenly things happen that are completely unexpected. Suddenly you've lost several men or more men or, as I witnessed, 580 men in an instant. So, when you talk to me, don't tell me that we should have waited a little longer, that President Truman made the wrong decision. Don't tell me that maybe in another week or so the enemy would have surrendered. It didn't happen in Germany. The Russians and the Americans entered Berlin at great cost. They didn't accept any agreements to negotiate because they knew that negotiations could take weeks or months. And in that time, men would die. So ending a war in a hurry, ending a war quickly, is important, especially for those of us who were there. So historians who have ideas that their uh, interpretation of history is correct and that if we'd done certain things in a different way it would have happened according to what they think it would have. No. The vagaries of war can defeat us in a matter of days. 580 men lost. I will say this, that of those 580 men the 504 who were army and the and the ones of the navy gun crew probably about 30 men all received or had crosses put up for them without any bodies in a grave site in Algiers the merchant seamen 42 to 44 of them received no accolades receive no honors. There is nowhere that they placed crosses for them. 